Good afternoon, everyone, as we prepare for this second Sunday in Ordinary Time, the time to grow in the Lord. We uh, begin uh, on uh, first reading for this second Sunday, Isaiah chapter 49, verse 3, and then 5 to 6. The church transforms what Isaiah had said about both Israel and a special prophet, to Jesus. Jesus is the servant through whom the through whom God the Father would show his glory. Jesus is the light to the nations that God's salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. Psalm 40. Jesus is the one who has come to do his Father's will. He announced God's justice to the vast assembly of Israel and to the world. He did not restrain his lips. Our third reading, John chapter 1, verses 29 to 34. John the Baptist testified about Jesus. I saw the Spirit come down like a dove from heaven and remain upon him. John further said that the voice from heaven said that the one on whom you see the Spirit come down and remain, he is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Now I have seen and testified that he is the Son of God. For the weeks to come in the liturgical year, we will be witnesses to the glory of God that the Scriptures, through the work, works and words of Jesus, bring to light in our hearts and minds. In our second reading, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 1-3, to 3, Paul writes to the church in Corinth, that is, to those who have accepted God's call or invitation, to be sanctified or made holy. They have been and are being made holy by the power of God within them and in their midst as a community of God's people. The glory of God is made manifest or visible to those who live in the power of God working within them. Praise be the magnificent and wonderful and gracious God who loves us very, very dearly.